Good morning, everyone, and welcome to ISNN. Today is Monday, November 7th, 2016. It is a hawk day, which means there are periods 2, 4, and 6. Are you a fan of Standard Time? Or DST, Daylight Savings Time? You gained an hour yesterday. But you'll lose it again in the spring. We moved from one to the other over the weekend. But it's funny, if you talk to people about it, everyone has an opinion. If you don't like it, well, blame New Zealand. New Zealander J George, <laughs> George Vernon Hudson proposed the modern idea of daylight savings way back in 1980, 1895. Ben Franklin was also a fan, so much so that he pushed for it back in colonial times. Germany and Austria-Hungary organized the first implementation starting on April 30th, 30th, 1916. A hundred years ago. Many countries have used it at various times since then. Particularly since the energy crisis of the 1970s. And of course we do it too. Our phone in today. What states or territories in the U.S. do not observe daylight savings time? Call 78293 with your answer ready. Go! Go. Bittersweet chocolate goes really well with almonds. You're in luck. Today is National Bittersweet Chocolate Covered Almonds Day. That's a mouthful. I wish. Ripley's Believe It or Not, chocolates, chocolate manufacturers use 40% of the world's almonds. The world's largest almond factory is in Sacramento, California. It processes 2 million pounds of almonds a day. Recent studies have revealed health benefits from eating small quantities of bittersweet chocolate. Almonds have health benefits as well. Pairing the two of them together gives us a delicious and healthful snack to be enjoyed any day of the year. But on this day in particular, it's practically like eating salad. This week is only a four-day week, with our Veterans Day assembly on Thursday. Yay! Yay! And speaking of dates, this week is a very sporty week at Sky Ridge. Today is the paper cup of volleyball, the ultimate riv rivalry, the battle between the Skyhawks and the Lions. Okay, I think they get the point. Good, because I couldn't think of any more. The 7th grade B team and 7th and 8th grade G grade junior varsity is against Liberty at CHS at 3.45. The 7th grade A team and 8th grade B team is against Liberty at CHS at 5 o'clock. And the 8th grade A team is against Liberty at 6.30. Wrestling news. The Skyhawks started off the season right with a 70-49 to victory over Frontier. Key victors, Zach Blair, Julian Patterson, and Jaden Chitta. Wish them luck against Jahela tomorrow at 3.45. Also, Tuesday, and all volleyball teams have pictures. On Wednesday, 7th grade volleyball is away at Chehala. And 8th grade volleyball is home against Chehala, both at 345. And wrestling has pictures. And on Thursday, wrestling is home against Pacific at 345. Go Skyhawks! Sign up for the Teen Read Cafe at the Camas Public Library. First step, you borrow a special copy of the book from the library before the meeting. Step two is pretty obvious. You, you read, read the, the book. book. Step three, you come to the meeting. Which, by the way, has snacks and activities. And then you get to keep the book for free. But remember, no meeting means no book. And if you were wondering what the book is, it's Michael Vey, the prisoner of, the, of cell 25. This is a reminder to those 18 and over in your household to get out there and exercise their responsibility as a citizen in the United States and vote. Ballots must be postmarked no later than November 8th to count. There is also a 24-hour drop box located outside the downtown campus post office on 5th Avenue. On Election Day, tomorrow, more than 30 ball ballot deposit locations throughout Clark County will be open until 8 p.m. Sites in campus include Dorothy Fox Elementary School, Grace Flor Four Square Church, Helen Baller, and Prune Hill Elementary School. The first, the first rounds of results, which will be posted on the Post Records website at www.canvaspostrecord.com, are expected to be released at approximately 8.30 p.m. Since we can't vote, maybe the best we can do is think about a career in law or politics. Do you like to argue? I mean, um, debate? <laughs> or maybe you like role-playing? Canvas Community Ed is offering a middle school mock trial competition team. A variety of team members who are interested in being lawyers and witnesses. The program is open to students who want to have fun and are willing to work hard as a team. Weekly practices will begin this month and will increase to twice a week as competition gets closer. There will be a team competition in January. There's a meeting today, Monday, November 7th from 3 to 4 p.m. 
It's in the staff lunch room, the door in the cafeteria. Depending on how many students register, there will be a fee that must cover the cost of the tournament. Go to the meeting and find out more details. There are flyers on the Essendon wall in the hall to take with you. Besides most of Arizona, other states or territories that are not involved in the time change include Hawaii, American Samoa, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Also, some parts of southern Indiana are not affected by the time change. Good job to Evan and Jack from Smith's class. <laughs> A treat and fake cash will be delivered to you after the, our broadcast. That is the news for Skyridge Middle School. Where you can believe in yourself, be you. Today's thought, always do your best. What you plant now, you will harvest later. Have a motivated Monday, Skyhawks. Remember to follow the code, the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. This has been L And Allison. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready? Ready begin. begin.